Hey everybody, this is Jane. Today I'm going to um, can some pickles. Um, last year I did it and it was really successful. Joe loved them and I did too and they came out great. And they were from my garden but unfortunately this year they, uh, the groundhog ate all my cucumbers, uh, actually ate all the seedlings, they never grew. They were coming back but then it, it was too late in the season to uh, produce fruit. So I went to the local farm stand and I got some pickles. I'll show you them right now. And I washed them. And I got some dill already. And then I also have some garlic. And I am brewing the brine for the pickle. Right now it should almost be done. It's only five minute boil and it uh, consists of um, two cups of white vinegar, uh, a third of a cup of sea salt, some peppercorns, and some brine mixture that I got at Williams Sonoma. I also have um, water boiling here and I will be putting my jars. I have to turn off the um, brine at this point. I will be uh, putting my jars in here and um, putting them in a water bath once I pack the um, pickles. So now I'm going to uh, slice up these cucumbers and prepare them for the bottle. And I'll cut off the ends which have like, um, they might cause like uh, bacteria to grow so you want to get rid of those and you just slice them in spears and I um, just slice them as straight as you can and as equal as you can and these will go into the jars just snap off the um, not snap but slice off the ends cut it in half and then in, the quart in quarters And I'll do, I, I bought about, let's see, I bought about um, four pounds. I'll see what, uh, how many jars that'll fill. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, and I'll just, um, I'll just keep the brine. If I have extra brine, I'll just put it in a jar and leave it for another day. But today's like the perfect day. It's uh, very cloudy out there. And um, I decided to do them today because the weather's not great. It's not a beach day and I have the time. So um, perfect. And this is what I occupy my life with lately. And uh, I'm just preparing for the cold weather. I know that uh, when we open up a jar of pickles from the summer, it'll taste good and remind us of the good weather but I'm not looking forward to the cold weather. I don't mind fall, which is great running weather. So I have my jars ready here and I'm going to uh, um, pack the jars with uh, first with a few cloves of garlic. I actually like a lot of garlic, so I think I'll put three cloves of garlic in the large ones and then uh, maybe two cloves in the smaller ones. Ah, what the heck. I know. Yeah, that's good enough. And then um, I want to um, also put some peppercorns. I'll put about uh, just a little bit of peppercorns in here at the bottom of these. And It's hard to do this with one hand. I like pepper, so does Joe, so it's not going to be a problem if there's more than I should have. And now I'm going to uh, pack them.
I'll just, uh, oops, just pack them. Pack them as tight as possible. And if they're too long, I have to cut them. Uh, we want to leave about a half an inch of space from the top. So maybe I should just pick the smaller ones here for this jar. Shorter ones, I guess. I don't know if there are shorter ones. There we go. Well, that one's too big. So I think we'll put the bigger ones. And that one's okay. I'll put the bigger ones. Um, in the large jars, the shorter ones, I should say. So, trying to find like smaller. See that one? I have to cut that. And pack them as tight as you want. Um, I'm going to put some, also stuff it with dill. Now, I don't want the dill to touch the lid at all, so make sure that, because that can uh, destroy the seal. So, just stuff it in there. And you can, um, you can add, uh, like a hot, hot pepper if you like as well. So, I'm going to just stuff these little, little guys that I cut up in here as well. I don't know if that'll fit, but that's about packed. That's packed very tightly. And then uh, what I do is pour the brine over. And I want it to leave about a half an inch from the top without anything in it. Or at least a quarter of an inch. So that's, that's good. Um, then I'm going to get, make sure the rim is clean and free of anything that would destroy the seal. And then um, I get my lid, which is boiling. Uh, I've got the lids in a pot right next to me that are boiling and I'll just place this right on there like that and um, I have a ring which I just want to just close it tightly not tightly but just snug and then um, I'll put this in a water bath and this is all ready to go so here are my packed pickles and they're all ready to be put in a uh, water bath for 10 minutes. I'm going to gently lower the bottles in this rolling, uh, boiling hot water and uh, they'll be done in 10 minutes. So um, I'm not going to show you that because I need two hands but um, I use this tool here to lift them in and out of the uh, pot. My, my pickling was a little bit of a fail. Uh, these were fine. Um, and I boiled them. I uh, gave them a water, hot water bath for 10 minutes. But this one was a fail. This actually broke in the pot. And I think what I did was I put it in the boiling hot water uh, too quickly or it might have hit the other bottles. So um, I, I should actually get a, um, a water bath pot with a rack and everything which would make life easier than using what I have. But I was just making do with what I had. So um, I guess that's the uh, pitfalls of, of uh, winging it. So anyway, in the meantime, um, I have a glut of tomatoes. Um, these are and zucchini. I've got tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Uh, you can see here I've been washing them, but uh, th this is like one of my oh, 
Those are so delicious. They're they're called German heirlooms, and they are so they're the best tomatoes. But anyway, I have. Um, what I did was I had a lot of plum tomatoes this year and I froze them and these are frozen so I'm thinking of uh, skinning them uh, I froze them because um, I learned on YouTube that um, if you freeze them and then put them under hot water the skins come off very easily so that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to freeze them instead of canning them so I'll just have a frozen skinless um, plum tomatoes and I can just you know make a sauce with them or put them in soups or whatever I want but they'll be good for at least a year in a uh, vacuum packed uh, bag sealed bag instead of like canning them which is uh, more tedious so what I'm doing is I'm running um, tepid water um, over the um, tomatoes, the frozen tomatoes. Actually, it's a little too hot and I'm just going to run it slightly. Yeah, so you can see the, um, the skin comes off very easily. It just like peels right off. And that, that, that's the tough part about when you make sauce, you really need a peeled tomato because the skins are uh, you know, too tough, and they're not enjoyable to eat as much as the um, the tomato meat itself. And sometimes, if I if I if I'm in a rush, I'll just put the tomatoes in a blender, and this way it'll grind up the skin as well. But um, it's preferable not to eat the skin, but you certainly could eat it. But see, this comes off very easily. And I'm going to trim off any bad spots. So what I do is I just trim off the top, and then this this comes right off. It just scoops right out, and it's so easy. My my mom she used to can tomatoes. I actually canned them for many years, um, but I used to buy bushels, and then we had a um, we had a, um, a mill, like an electric mill, that, that seeded and pureed it, pureed the tomatoes. And I would have like six burners going, and then we'd pour the hot sauce in the hot jars, and it's just so tedious. But um, that's before I had my own garden, but now that I have my own garden, I, um, I'm taking the easy route. And since I don't have that many tomatoes, I don't have bushels of tomatoes, but whatever tomatoes I do have, they're organic. And I do want to preserve them or use them at some other point because they're, it's, it's really a shame to make them go to waste. Um, I don't like throwing out anything from the garden because I've worked very hard watering it and planting it and turning up the soil and all that. And it's organic and can't get any better than that. So I'll do this and then I'll put them in a uh, vacuum packed uh, bag in the freezer. I can also do this with cherry tomatoes, which I've done already. It's a little more tedious because they're smaller but works like a charm. In addition to this, I think I'm, I, uh, another fail I had was I, I tried um, oven drying them like a sun-dried tomato and I left them in too long and it just, uh, I tried it with cherry tomatoes and I left them in oh, over four hours at 200 degrees and, and it was just, <laughs> they burned to a crisp. So I'm gonna try that again though because sun-dried tomatoes have a uh, different flavor and I um, you can use them differently in uh, dishes and they um, they actually have a more concentrated flavor and it might be nice in some um, other dishes so here are the pickles jarred um, I was able to jar quite a number of them this is a quart and these are pint size and uh, that's my pickle update and um, if you enjoyed this video, please like 
my video, subscribe to my channel, and make any comments you'd like to make below. Bye!